Well, it's no surprise that motherhood poses some big challenges and big changes, both wonderful and sometimes a little scary. Moms Loving Moms is a nonprofit helping mothers recover after pregnancy so they can focus on spending time with their newborn. And we are joined by founder and president Beth Wheeler. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. This is a, a beautiful nonprofit. When I heard about it, I had to get you on the show. This all kind of came from your experience. So tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for having us sure. on here. So whenever I had my son, my so I have two children. I have my son, Bruce, he's going to be four this Bruce. year. And then Emma, who is going to be two in January, or she just turned two in January. Um, so with Bruce, he was my first. And um, whenever I had my, my delivery and labor, just recovery with him, the recovery process was not at all what anybody had prepared me for or told me about. And um, so I, I entered into it completely blindsided and I came home from the hospital and did not feel like I had near as many tools or resources that I needed to be able to be taking care of myself so that I could be best taking care of this new baby that I had no idea what to be doing with either. Yeah. Um, so I got on Amazon and I was just buying all of the things possible to be able to just aid in my own physical recovery so that I could be best taking care of my, my newborn also. So that's kind of how the kit started out because I, I finally got into a good rhythm and figured out what I needed and what was helpful for me in helping to relieve the pain that I was experiencing yeah. and I looked at my husband and I said you know I don't there's no way that I'm the only one who's entered postpartum feeling yep. this way and so I felt like God had given me my type of recovery so that I could help other moms moving forward and you said it costs money all these supplies yes. that help your body heal cost money so not everybody can can afford them so talk about these boxes you have two mm -hmm. different kinds of kits depending on the type of labor and delivery yes. women have so explain some of the items and how you box them up yeah yeah so this one is going to be the kit for a vaginal delivery. The one over there is the C-section delivery. Um, so with this one, it comes with four different pairs of really good quality disposable underwear, so much better than the ones that you receive at the <laughs> hospital. I can't even begin to tell you. Um, it comes with several pairs of um, ice pack pads yeah. that again are like the hospital ones, but so much better and they're absorbent. <laughs> and then we have four different types of pads in here with all the different, we've got super regular overnight and then some incontinence pads also to just kind of gain awareness whether moms struggle with incontinence or not. That mm -hmm. way they know that it is an issue and can be something that is normal for them Isn't to be struggling with. Isn't it beautiful with. having a baby? It is. It's so it's, glamorous. Yeah, that was something no one had told me about, and I was like, why didn't no one prepare me I for agree. this? Um, and then we have, we give this whole bottle of witch hazel. I know it says facial toner on it, but in um, a letter that comes in the kit, it provides them with instructions on how to make pad sickles. Yeah. Um, so that's why, again, they have all of the pads too. So the pad sickles, we um, provide all of the all the supplies for them to be able to do that to, again, it's aid amazing. in the recovery. And then the upside down peri bottle yes. is a favorite. So much better. Than and then you've got soaps, you've got tea, you got everything yes. that a mommy needs. So in addition to this stuff, mm -hmm. you also supply something else that's really important. Yes, so whenever a mom signs up for a kit, she is provided with a support person. So we have what they call a recipient care team, which is just a team of moms who um, are then assigned to each mom that's signing up, signing up for these kits. And they reach out during pregnancy, just kind of checking in, seeing how things mm -hmm. are going, seeing how we can support them, offering any additional resources. And then once they've let us know that they've had their baby, then they get you know the kit set up for them. And then they check in again during postpartum to again see how are they doing, how can we be helping them. And they remind them of the three free counseling sessions that are also included in the kit as well because mental health in the pregnancy and postpartum period is just not not talked about no. enough and so we try to just kind of bridge the gap in the perinatal mental health area in general. Three free counseling sessions and mm -hmm. these are free to the women that sign up yes. so obviously we all need money to do something like this. How can people get involved and help? Yeah so right now because we are a newer nonprofit it really is all just donor base, so churches, organizations, businesses, anything like that that can help provide the, the funding for the boxes is huge. Or individuals, right now for March, we have a monthly Giving March campaign where we're asking 100 individuals to sign up to commit to doing $20 a month to be mm -hmm. able to help us because it is just having that recurring money coming in is, is huge for us. Um, but then also for volunteer basis too, we have a team of almost 40 delivery drivers right now. And because we service Rutherford County and any county that touches Rutherford County, and it's a lot of areas to be delivering yeah. and dropping off these kits too. So we always need delivery drivers, especially in the Nashville area. That area is huge, as you are familiar with. Um, so you can volunteer as a delivery driver, or you can come to our boxing days. We have boxing days That's monthly fun. where people can come and kind of help make the kits and see what all is in them and get very hands on. What is your favorite part of doing this? Oh, man. I 
that kind of reassured that I I knew going into it that this was such an area that wasn't talked about enough. And whenever we get the responses from moms where they're, you know, I was getting home from the hospital and I had no idea what I needed. And then this box was here and I just, you know, weeped over having boxes of pads on my door because they just feel so loved and so taken care of. And it's just, it's a very humbling experience for us to be able to meet women in such a vulnerable time of their life. And it's true, you know, you can ask your partner for a lot of help when you have a baby, you're cleaning the bottles, all that yeah. stuff. But they're never gonna understand quite like another woman. Yeah. <laughs> so having you guys there to do this is just wonderful. Thank and you. I can, you know, I have a, a different appreciation for it now. Yeah. So thank you very much for helping thank moms you. out there. Because as you said, a happy, healthy mom is much better for their baby, too. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Well, get your postpartum box or help out. You can sign up today at momslovingmoms.com.